Hi, Mike Sullivan here, Cisco Brewery, Nantucket. We're here to give you guys a little bit of a tour and show you around the place. This is Jess here working on Nantucket Vineyard. This is part of our distillery, winery, and goal of global beverage domination. So one of our goals here is to have a little bit of everything. So uh, it's 1981, we started with the wine here at Cisco, and uh, we produce quite a bit of uh, product and do, do uh, mostly here on island, but some off island. And we have our own little bar here, uh, separate with just about anything you could ever want if you are a wine lover. Jess, what's your favorite these days? What are you pouring? Favorite for the whites is probably gonna be the Cranberry Pinot Gris. So it's the only one that we have that's slightly sparkling. So we use uh, local Nantucket cranberries, dry picks, and then we put that into the fermentation tank. That's with our stainless steel aged Pinot Gris. And then it goes through a slight forced carbonation at the end, so you get a little bit of bubble in there. It's really nice for, for summer, actually year round. So it's really good. Jess, why don't you give us another example of what kind of reds we're doing this summer and uh, what have been traditionally really popular? So uh, we do have a lot of single varietals. Uh, Sailor's Delight is one of our most popular, so that's going to be a blend of predominantly Syrah Merlot with a little bit of Malbec and Tempranillo. It's light enough in body that you could pair it with uh, some chicken or some fish, but it still has enough tannins to stand up to, you know, some steaks on the grill, things of that nature. All right, Jess, thank you very much here at Nantucket Vineyard. We're going to uh, make our way, continue the tour over to Cisco Brewery. Enjoy, come by and say hello to Jess and have a wonderful glass of rosé. Here we are at Cisco Brewery. We just left the winery in about 25 quick paces. We're over here in beer land. We have about 15 different beers on tap rotating throughout the summer. We've got uh, quite a good selection for every beer lover. And we got Tyler Herrick here to uh, talk about what we got going on here. What's up, Sully? Welcome hey, to welcome Brewery. to Cisco Brewers, established in 95. Uh, the first beer we're going to sample you on is called Grey Lady. Grey Lady is an unfiltered Belgian wit that is brewed with lemon peel, chamomile, and coriander. Nantucket is usually a fairly foggy place, so a Grey Lady was named after our foggy island. Cheers. Up next, what we have is our flagship beer, which is called Whale's Tail Pale Ale. It is an English pale ale, uh, Maris Otter Malt, and also a East Kent Golding's Hop, both of which are uh, English ingredients. This is uh, our claim to fame beer, uh, the one that we distribute around the country, and one that you can find in your neck of the woods. Our uh, summer seasonal is called the Summer of Lager. It is a European style lager, nice and full flavored and crisp. Uh, perfect for the summer days here on Nantucket. And finally, what I'm gonna sample you on is called the Indie IPA. Uh, five different varietals of uh, beautiful citrusy hops. Big, beautiful, bright, bitter, blonde IPA. So uh, you, you see the flagship beers here. Our latest beer is uh, Shark Tracker Light. Shark Tracker is done with a collaboration with O-Search. O-Search's goal is to save the oceans. And what they're doing is protecting the great white sharks. So we came up with a, uh, a collaborative with them to make a charitable donation. Every time we sell one of the Shark Tracker uh, 12 packs, money goes to their organization. And Tyler can tell you a little bit more about the organization. Uh our partnership with O-Search started off the coast of Cape Cod in August of 2013, catching a giant great white sharks. What's really cool about the Shark Tracker is that it's a beer that's uh, kind of designed for packing the cooler, going out on big fishing trips, and uh, just an everyday uh, here on Nantucket out on the beach. It's categorized as a Pilsner malt and Bravo hops, 5.4% uh, ABV. Really clean, crisp, uh, easy drinkable beer. And uh, so we partnered up with them, and for every pint we sell, uh, we give a dollar to O-Search, and for every 12-pack, we give them three dollars. Tyler, tell them about the day that uh, that shark right there was caught. This is Betsy. Betsy's uh, 14 and a half feet, 2,300-pound juvenile female. We showed up with 30 cases of beer and a 100-pound pig in a roasting box and asked for permission to come aboard. About halfway through the day, they're about to uh, pack up and head home, and. Uh, we threw the, the head in the water of the, the the pig head in the water, and all of a sudden, chum water, great white came up, ate the hook, and uh, we were able to tag this uh, shark. So they have an accelerometer tag, which kind of shows how deep they dive, how fast they swim. It's a GPS tag, so every time they break the surface of the water, we can get a GPS coordinate. And uh, what that does is kind of help us uh, figure out their migratory patterns, uh, where they're giving birth, where they're mating, 
and uh, so we're on board. Where's, Me where's Betsy gone from Nantucket after she was tagged? Betsy went right down to the Gulf of Mexico and uh, spent the winters down there and uh, has kind of followed the coast all the way back up to uh, New England. Think she'll be back this summer? I think that she's coming back this year. I think she'll be back too. All right, Tyler, thank you. That was a great description of the beers. Let's uh, make our way over to the distillery and talk about some of our award-winning spirits. Have a little fun. All right, welcome to Triple Eight Distillery. Here we are. Part of our global beverage domination is the wine and the spirits. We got a good thing going with the beer, but the uh, kind of heart and soul of the place right now are the spirits. We started biking an infusion bar, making a lot of fun different things with infusions, but vodka was the first spirit we did. And since then, we've gone on to rum, gin, and our single malt scotch. And I'll let Tyler tell a little bit more about our award-winning single, single malt scotch. Sully, don't forget about our uh, employees, uh, Achilles Seal, that would be the Nor'easter bourbon as well. So Triple Eight is actually our well number. It's the 888th registered well, not dirty water. Nice and clean glacial water from Nantucket. Uh, our first flavored vodkas, we, uh, we started with the orange, which is a hand-zested honey bell orange peel. We have a cranberry vodka, which is uh, all Massachusetts cranberries. Uh, we got a, a blueberry vodka, which is kind of our uh, claim to fame. That is an all main blueberry extract. Uh, we are importing vanilla beans from Madagascar and Papua New Guinea to make our vanilla vodka very unique. And recently, we have branched out and now we are making a raspberry flavored vodka. See the color? You know it's real. Only the real stuff. Uh, moving over here, we have some of our award-winning uh, harder spirits, our gin, rum, and bourbon, which we have coined the Storm Series. So the Hurricane Rum is a beautiful aged rum, uh, aged in bourbon casks, a blend of a three, four, and seven-year-old. Uh, our bourbon is at least 51% Kentucky corn mash and aged in new charred white American oak barrels. That way we can call it bourbon. American style, not Kentucky straight. And then over here is our gin. We got 10 different botanicals, juniper lemon and orange peel, chamomile, coriander, grains of paradise, orris root, angelica, cinnamon, and really good water, that, that's nice. Some of our new stuff that we're producing is some 60 proof vodkas, uh, small batch infusions. We got a pineapple jalapeno. This is, this is the bread and butter. That one's really nice and sweet, a little spicy. Uh, we've got a blueberry mint, three different varieties of mint that we grow here on the property. Peppermint, spearmint, and mountain mint. Uh, which is how we have started producing our triple eight, uh, triple mint schnapps as well. Uh, we're making a coffee liqueur, a ginger honey liqueur, and also a cucumber liqueur. That's what we got going on over here. We come a little bit farther over. This is our award-winning single malt whiskey. We have a notch 10 year and a notch 12 year. The 12 year was just awarded the best single malt whiskey in the world. The world outside of Scotland, of course. This is a beautiful Maris Otter malt. It's actually the same malt that we use for the Whale's Tail Pale Ale. So it's an English malt to make a Nantucket Scotch. Kind of confusing. Snotch 12 is a uh, nice six proof and it is just classified as being sweet, uh, nice and oaky, um, rich sweet finish uh, from a sherry cask finish. This is the bread and butter here. Mm. 